What's going on, social media world? Man, look, this has really disturbed me in a way that I don't think I have been disturbed in a while. This takes evil to a whole nother level. Of course, through the years, we have uh, heard some horrible things of murderers and mass murderers, Jeffrey Dahmer, serial killers, and things that would make you go wow. But this one right here takes the cake. A 10-year-old shoots his mother in the face because she refused to buy him a virtual headset. A 10-year-old go gets the gun out of his mother's uh, box, I guess a, like a lock box, and points the gun and aim it in his mother's face and shoots her in the face and kills her. Guys, if you don't see that we are really in that last days, and if you are casually dating Jesus, I want to encourage you to wake up. This world is going to hell in a handbasket. And I'm coming out of Matthew 24, 12. Listen to this mighty word from God. And it reads, sin will be rampant everywhere. And the love of many will grow cold. But the ones who endure to the end shall be saved. Can you imagine how cold this boy's heart must have been to kill his mother? The woman that gave you birth, you got to shoot her in the face. I don't care if the boy is 10 years old. He's old enough to know better. And what makes it so horrible when the police asked him about it, he admitted in shooting her on purpose. Because at first they thought maybe it was an accident. Then they asked the boy again. And, and, and he said he admitted to shooting her on purpose. And then he had the nerve to say, have my package arrived. Because he used the Amazon account after he killed her to order his headset. And the boy had nerve enough to ask, have my package arrived? Guys, the enemy is getting more and more bolder than ever before. And let me tell you something. He is targeting children right now like never before. Suicide, uh, uh, suicide is at an all-time high with kids and teenagers. So, guys, I want to encourage you to invite Jesus in your home. I want to encourage you to bring worship music in your home, to worship God in your home, to praise God in your home, because now is not the time to be lax. Now is not the time to be casual. Now is not the time to be comfortable in your sin. Now is the time to seek God's face like never before. Now is time to worship God like never before. Now is time to pray like never before. Now is time to seek him like you lost your car keys and you was 10 minutes late for work. The enemy is roaming around in like a, a lion and looking to see who he may devour. And he's looking for a house that is weak. He's looking for a house where there's no praise. He's looking for there's a house where there's no worship. He's looking for a house that there's no prayer. There's no reading of the word. He's looking for a house that has open season on a door. So therefore he may come in to be comfortable in your home. So guys, I'm here to sound the alarm. Now is not the time to be sinning comfortably. Now is not the time to just satisfy your flesh. Now is the time to get into a real relationship with Jesus Christ. To worship, to pray, to praise. In my house, we're going to worship Jesus. In my house, we're going to praise. Because I'll be doggone if the devil be comfortable in this house. In many houses, the devil is chilling. They sitting in your house on your couch. Baby, they got, they got their seats reclined. And the demons are comfortable. And that's why there's so much hatred. That's why it's so much violence. 
And that's why it's so much turmoil in so many people's houses today because the enemy is chilling. He got his seat back. He got the TV. He got the remote control because he's comfortable. Because he know he don't have to worry about worshiping, hearing worship music. He know he ain't got to worry about watching you in your prayer closet. He know he ain't got to worry about you teaching your children the word of God. The reason why that boy is so comfortable in killing his mom, nine times out of ten, there's no worship. Nine times out of ten, there was no praise on a regular basis. I'm not saying that was the case, but I'm saying we got to make it difficult for the devil. He comes to kill, steal, and destroy, guys. In the last days, many will grow cold. Many hearts will lose love for one another. But the ones who endure to the end shall be saved. Are you willing to fight the good fight of faith? Are you willing to endure? When you fall short because you will... Do you get back up and you dust yourself off and you keep marching for Jesus? Or do you just roll around and stay with it for months at a time? God is looking for real saints. He's not looking for ain'ts. Are you a saint or you're an ain't? Are you a worshiper? Are you a praiser? Are you a doer of the word? And that's what he's looking for. Hallelujah. Father God, I pray for every family on here. I pray for the TikTok family as well as Facebook and I pray for YouTube as well as Instagram that you will lift up a holy standard in every household in the name of Jesus, that people will turn from their wicked ways and they will serve you and live for you as a way of life and they will worship you as a way of life. Father, help us to see you more clearly. Help us to die to ourselves and help us to walk by the spirit and not by the flesh. Lord, we just pray for that family. That that yet little boy, 10-year-old, shot his mom. We just pray for that family, Father, and give them peace in this dark season of their lives. Lord, I lift up every teenager. I lift up every child that you would touch their hearts and they would learn to seek you at a young age. Touch every family that's represented today on this, on this video, Father, that's watching this video and the ones that's going to watch it later. Father God, I pray that they would seek you. And continue to give me the strength to lead my family and to lead my wife and children to you, Lord. Help me to die daily so therefore I may be able to experience your glory daily. Forgive us, Lord, for falling short. Forgive us of our sins. Watch everybody here that's watching this video, including me, to continue to endure to the end. I ask these prayers in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you guys. Share this video. Somebody need to see it.